Hi guys and welcome to the next episode of my vlog. So today I bring you not on a trip on the outdoors, but a trip to my garden. So what I have here with me today is my bag. So I've actually I've actually got quite a few messages about my bag and which one I use and is it any good and all that. So I thought I'd, this would be a perfect opportunity to tell my listeners or my fans or whatever uh, about the bag and how I use it and where I go with it. So it is actually called the Low Pro Whistler 450 AW. So the AW stands for all weather. So it's quite a rugged, really rugged bag. So it can withstand all the elements of the, the Irish landscape is gonna throw at you. So it is actually a 450 denier ripstop nylon exterior. So it's going to be, it's going to be hard to break. To be honest with you um, it's it's quite strong and uh, you can see it's got weaving patterns in along it so they're probably cross threaded the whole way along so that just gives it that extra bit of strength and stability uh, it's got a tup uh, face coating so if you uh, all the water the water is kind of just going to run off it and now it's weather resistant it's not waterproof and some parts that are waterproof and i'll get to that soon enough um, it's got the knife nifco side release clips here and you got buckles and it's got Duraflex hoops and it's a Hypalon, Hype, Hypalon base so yeah overall it's just like I said it's a really really rugged bag and it really is aimed at the nature and wildlife photographers now me myself I'm a landscape photographer which is more or less nature but also a wedding photographer and if you are a wedding photographer I would strongly suggest maybe considering this bag simply because it packs such a punch you can put so much stuff into it it's ridiculous so you can put your flashes triggers uh, lenses camera but multiple camera bodies and so on and so forth now so uh, first of all we're going to get to the top of the bag and we'll work our way down to the bottom of it. so the top of the bag the first part of it okay it's got a roof part of it okay so on that part of the bag you zip it open and it's actually got quite substantial amount of space in it it's also got this mesh pouch on the interior that you can store stuff so i have my tile so a tile is an, uh, an app that you can get for your phone and you can buy these tiles that you can stick to your wallet and keys and it can track your bag or your keys or wherever but however it has to be in bluetooth range i recently got pickpocketed in lanzarote and i had a tile in it and i can only track it to the last spot where it was taken but anyway moving on so it's uh it's got plenty of space in it so you can push look dji osmo uh my headphones for when i'm on hikes wherever I'm going up mountains, uh, trigger, uh, spare batteries, uh, Mavic Air, polarizers, uh, batteries, accessories for the Osmo, uh, spare batteries, uh, modular case for this. So, and you can fit in far much more. But what's quite an intelligent is on the inside you have these clips that you can put stuff onto so if something important that you just in case something happens that you can strap it on just like i have with the tile on the inside here it's the exact same thing so i have the tile on it at all times now so we'll close that back up so now we're coming on to the front of the bag okay so we've got these lovely orange straps okay as if anyone knows me i have an obsession with orange orange t-shirt orange van Hell, even my um, grass blower is orange. So, yeah, I have a fascination with orange. I love it. Why not? Orange is an awesome color. It's the most awesomest color in the world. However, orange chocolate. I don't know how anyone eats that. It's absolutely disgusting. So, yeah, don't don't eat orange chocolate. Maybe you like it, I don't know, but I don't. Anyway, moving on. So, it's got these straps here. They're very very strong. We've got one and two. So here's where I would put my tripod in okay i can't show you now because i'm videoing on my tripod and i sold my my spare one because i'm getting a new gitso one quite soon so what i would do is just slide right in here and it comes down and it catches on all three so two legs go in here and then three along here got these other buckles here if you need to put st stuff or strap stuff on one two three four one two three four more straps okay now 
these silver buckles here they're kind of a quick release kind of system I don't really like it it would be one of my points that I don't like about the bag in case something does catch it and lifts it up it can get released quite easily okay and without you knowing but I'm sure you'd hear a tripod hit, hit off the ground if you did have it strapped to it okay but uh, I would have preferred a closed system uh, for just to be a bit stronger now we'll move on into the bag okay so there's a strap that our zips the Joraflex hips our hoops will come down here one and two so maybe that's why this was easier to get that so we'll open up the strap here and it falls down so this is the part of the bag that is actually waterproof so if you've wet gear and you're off on a hike and it started pouring down you have your wet gear on and then it gets nice and sunny you take it off again at least when you put it in here it's going to keep the main compartment where you have your lenses and your body is all dry because this is actually waterproof no water can get through there on the inside of the pocket here then again you have another mesh pouch on the interior so here are lens wipes and um, lens, uh, cov our lens covers and caps and everything uh, there's a pouch here but it's the whole way it goes through so if you put something in there it's going to fall through I don't know what that is for if you know let me know I'd love to know give me an idea okay and um, but you can pack so much inside here it's absolutely fantastic and even if you were stuck for space so what you do we actually have an expander here so you zip it down here zip it over here the whole way down and that'll expand the back the front pocket of the bag even more so you have even more room now so especially if you're getting on an airplane or somewhere else and you're packing that extra few bits or if you're staying overnight and you're camping somewhere you can have that extra little bit of room it's quite handy so like I went to Lanzarote recently and what I did was I brought as much camera equipment in my bag as possible because I didn't want it going down below and yeah I got as much as in as possible and I brought it into the plane and this with Ryanair you can get on they didn't no questions asked I nearly had about 15 kilograms worth of weight in this bag as long as a 20 kilo weight as well underneath so uh, yeah I think I I've been on two flights at Ryanair since and they've never stopped me for having such a big bag and I even had a tripod that strapped to it the last time not to said nothing all right so we'll strap that back up excellent now moving around to the side of the bag so you have another spot for your tripod if you want you can put your tripod in here okay slide it down there also there's also one two three more straps uh, you can strap things in around here and here okay moving around to the other side of the bag you can also put more straps one here and one here so the idea between the three straps is you can put a tripod in the front and there is a, a ski guy called Paul Morrison he kind of helped design the bag with low pro and he's a big uh, photographer and a snowboarder so you can actually put snowboards one or skis one here and one here or one snowboard on the front and then your tripod on the side so he had a big influence on that bag when they're designing it so again but for me I'm not doing snowboarding all we get is rain here in Ireland so you can slide your tripod in here as well again and here there's also another sneaky little compartment which I only learned about last week okay and you can put stuff in one two uh, center pockets and then one big pocket okay now so we're going to move around to the back of the bag guys okay this is where it gets interesting okay so your two main straps okay and you have your waist strap it's a rear entry bag and it's got this active zone here so it's got one two three six paddings okay on either side and it's quite comfortable that's to get the air rigid parts into the back so you don't get too warm so you don't have a sweaty back when you're walking and uh, yeah because it just leaves a channel of air in there and they're actually quite comfortable so there's not going to be lenses or bodies sticking into your back so like I said very comfortable uh, so the zippers are very strong especially on the, the rear entry part okay the uh, they're YKK uh, zips so let's just show you how much this bag can store okay so we'll open it up as you can see here we can pack our SD card compartments we have another uh, flat pocket compartment here with a zip so what I normally do is put in so if I have a wedding that day I have the, the wedding couples uh, details so I keep a sheet of paper in what their names are their phone numbers email address 
best man's phone number, um, chief bridesmaid phone number and so on and so forth. Where they're going for photographs, who the band are, all the details of the wedding are going to be in there. So I can attach them really fast in case something happens. So anyway, on to the inside of the bag. So, Canon 5D Mark III. Great, we'll just slap that over there. Ah, Canon 6D. Great, slap that over there. Uh, Sony 28 to 70 lens. Okay, that's for my A7R Mark II. 35mm 1.4. Um, 12 to 24 f4 for landscape uh, Mavic Air controller Mavic Air drone Jesus mother of god one two flashes <coughs> the table's getting quite full so as you can see it's absolute loads of space to put whatever you want and the best thing about it is you can configure it to a whatever personal way you want it to be so you have these very, very strong, good uh, dividers and they actually give you uh, loads of them. So there's one, two, three, and uh, there's more in there. Wait, four, five, five spare dividers. So you can, like I said, design it whatever way you want. And like I said, they're very strong. Uh, the whole compartment on the inside is removable, but I really, do not advise you to do it. You're better off having a fight with a UFC fighter than trying to take this out because it's such a pain in the arse. It's very, very hard. There's also a compartment here, an inner zip compartment to give you an extra bit of weather sealing or when you do take it out that you can lift it up, zip it up and take it as a standalone bag. I'm leaving it. I'm never, ever taking it out again. Uh, as for these bags then, or these dividers, and some of the dividers are, uh, it's very clever the way they did it. Some of them are soft, and some of them are very rugged. So the way, but they're not gonna damage your gear. They're all soft, but they're stronger, I should say. So uh, the lenses can slot in right there, but if you have a lens that you want to keep in uh, a certain position, you'd use more rugged ones, but if you wanted to give it a bit more space, a bit more flexibility, you'd use these ones. So you can move these a lot easier. And also what I like is these ones, okay, so I have one at the bottom, one at the top. This is, on this part, you can pull it down and there's another little pocket here and another little pocket there to slide little things in there. So as you can see, boom. <coughs> Lovely, excellent. So we'll zip that bag up. Okay. Brilliant. Now, onto the back part of the bag, on the straps. So the straps themselves are actually really, really good. They're quite comfortable and you have your waist straps also. Now, one thing that I really like about this bag is the chest strap, okay? Right up here, it's movable. You can move it up and down. So if you're whatever, the bag sits down quite low on you or quite high, you can adjust it by moving up these parts here. Okay. Also, it has a whistle, hence where it gets its name from the 450 Whistler. So, on my other bags, my Low Pro Rover, um, I was, I'm always conscious about health and safety. So what I actually did before was strap one of my uh, referee whistles. I used to be a basketball referee years ago. So I used to strap one of them to the bag, just in case something happened to me, because I'd be climbing down uh, to the base of the Cliffs of Moher, and you know, something happened to me, there's no phone service down there. At least I know I'd have a whistle, just in case something happened to me. So I can just go, whistle, and happy days. Someone might come to my aid, okay? It's better than screaming and shouting and mightn't even have a voice. Um, it's got these uh, elasticated straps. Uh, there's four of them, one, two, three, four. And then there's a more rugged one just in behind it, so it's not gonna stretch. So you can strap things onto these things like water bottles, or you could put a tent, a sleeping bag, whatever you're feeling fancy to. Also, you can adjust the straps by, uh, if you want a bit more tension, you can pull these, okay, to give it a bit more tighter feel. The waist strap itself is very clever design. There's nice padding on it. It could be slightly bit better, especially with the and these straps. It is comfortable, don't get me wrong, but it could be a little bit nicer because simply because the bag is quite heavy. Um, I would, if you are going to buy this bag, I do suggest um, just getting used to it first, to be honest with you, because it is it comes in at over close to three and a half kilograms. I think it's 3.3 .3 kilograms. So 
as bags goes, it's actually quite heavy. And there are lighter ones out there. So like, even if you wanted to go look at the Low Pro 350 Whistler, which is a slightly smaller bag, uh, if it's smaller, I'm sure it weighs less. Uh, and it's just as good, but just you're not gonna fit in as much as I do. So coming back to the waist strap, very clever design. You have a pocket here on the left-hand side, a zip. So I always keep a lens cloth inside here to help me with uh, lenses if there are sea spray on the filters or just a bit of dirt or grime. And from there then I can put in my uh, car keys. I always try to put them in there as much as possible because I don't want to lose them. Uh, there's a pouch on the inside of it so when you're strapping it, like so, and you don't want these things hanging down, you can slide it in behind here. On this side then, I would have preferred another one of those pouches, but they have these straps in over here instead. So one, two, three, or two, is it? Two. So it, again, you can strap on water bottles or whatever you want. And me personally, I absolutely love this bag. It's got a lot going for it. Um, like I said, it's very strong, it's very rugged. It's uh, something that I'll be using for quite some time. Um, the downsides to this bag is that it's got no mesh pocket on the outside. So do you want like a stretchy one that you can put a water bottle, just slide it into it and then you can just either have it on your back, grab the water bottle, take a drink. But unfortunately there is none there. But what you can do is, like I said, strap one onto it. Hey Lola. Lola is my dog. She's uh, a great, fantastic Labrador. Anyway. Um, the other downside to it is it's actually quite pricey. It comes in at 390 euros, so it is quite a lot of money to pay for one bag, but it is worth it. Like I said, it's very strong, very rugged, and I can see it lasting me for quite some time. Um, the only bags that I've ever really buy are Low Pro. It's a trusted brand that I use all the time. I think I have about five or six Low Pro bags at this stage now and I don't intend in getting rid of any of them. Um, yeah, so that's about it for this review, guys. I know it's quick and I know it's short, but a lot of people are asking me about the bag, so I said, hey, look, I'll just do a bit of a review on it for you. If there's any questions, put it in below, okay? And I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think about the bag. Uh, if I miss something, put it in the comments down below so, I can, uh, so the rest of the viewers can see that. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for today. All right, so we'll see you next week's vlog, guys. Ayo. Hey,